What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Banholtz, back again with another awesome podcast short with Clayton Cook. Hello, hello. And today, we're going to tell you how to be a modern man. All right, first things first, modern man, that's a label. And we're not really trying to put people in a box here. Yeah, we're not going to put people in a box today. We're going to tear open the box. Tear open the box. Kind of show you the way that society shifted over time and how maybe some type of mindset are more archaic and how it's probably best for you guys to adopt the modern mindset. Man. So what are some of those shifts that we've seen? Yeah, it's uh, Eric, it's 2016 and we've made this movement where you know we're at an interesting time in human history and we're, things are less physical for us now than they were and we're getting into an area where things are more mental and so you know maybe in the past it was men were the soldiers and the hunters and they cut down all the trees and they built everything and it was we we kind of measured masculinity by like how strong you were and like how many like cows you could pick up right. and things like that well now we're driving cars and we're sitting in offices and we're doing things a little bit differently so, uh, you know, the way we, we, that we measure maybe masculinity or the man is it's shifting. Right. So I, I would think like a lot of perceptions of what it means to be a man comes down to the, the history of men, really. Man. Like and, and everything from like the caveman times when they were out hunting and, and gathering and killing and being very physical. And, and the woman would take care of the children, raise the children you know, tend to the campsite, keep things clean, things like that. That's where a lot of the roles have evolved. Mm -hmm. But because of the shift, and really because of the shift of, of society as a whole, those lines have gotten a little mess. Yeah, we're now we're 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 sharing responsibilities. Now, right. You know, we've got women are in the workforce now, and they're they're taking over roles and different things. And you this know. is this hasn't happened like overnight. Yeah, and we're building up now to where uh, you know it's okay to be a stay at home dad. Plug to all the stay at home dads out there. Yeah, yeah you want to you know you come home and you work together to cook dinner, or you know you're sharing responsibilities around the house, and so it's yeah, so it's not as much about like how big are my guns, yeah, kind of thing. I think uh, in, in kind of like an ironic twist of fate, like the beard is is really been associated with like this hyper masculinity, right? Mm -hmm. Like if I've got a beard, I'm a man's man, I'm physical, I'm rough, I'm tumble, I got guns, I go hunting, I, you know, punch things. I yeah. Like, if you, uh, if your dad doesn't have a beard, then you have two moms. Right. Stuff attitude. like that. Now there's a lot of positives in a lot of those, like the, the being healthy, the being physical, you know, presenting yourself in a way that you feel confident is very positive. Mm -hmm. And it's something that I would encourage you to do if you identify with that. But like the things that are negative, like the, the, the joke that you just said is it's pulling people down, right? Yeah. Yeah. That stuff is cool. Like a, a big pickup truck and going hunting and doing those things is cool. But if another man's not into it or he's not excelling at that, then it's not a way to like put him down. Like he's not less of a man for not sharing those same attributes. Exactly. And, and that's the thing. Like, look at, you guys know, I don't have any guns here, right? I don't have any guns at home, or maybe I do. I don't fit a lot of the traditional stereotype of a man. But when I go to the bathroom and I look at myself and I look back at me, I'm a man. I'm a guy. I'm a man. Like, the, the man who I am is a man of one. The things that I do don't really define my masculinity. It's, it's really the self-control that defines it yeah the the uh the internal like confidence and the self-insuredness of like who you are and like you're having like some uh, a level of self-respect for yourself because you're doing it you know what's also funny clayton there's women who not only can grow beards physically mm -hmm. but choose to keep them yeah right so if if you're saying if you you don't have uh if your parents don't have a beard then you've got two moms well you could have a mom with a beard and a dad without a beard. And then, yeah. Then you have, then, yeah, uh, what's then you have a mom on? and a dad, but they're not a mom and a dad. Uh. Right, yeah. You just get all sorts of things. 
worked out. Yeah, and women are, and now too, like women are excelling at, you know, I, there's women that are bodybuilders and hunters and doing these more traditionally masculine things, and they're excelling at that, and there are men going into these, you know, female-dominated fields. And so it's not so much, those aren't the measuring sticks anymore. So the purpose of this video is like, we want to encourage you guys when you, you go out and you comment with your friends or you comment on the internet and you're about to say, Hey man, like man up and do this. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, that's not masculine or a real man, you know, doesn't distress his genes or whatever it may be. Like you're really falling into the archaic mindset, which is to put others down, uh, who are not like a visualization of what you have about masculinity. And so we talked about earlier, it's becoming one with yourself, right? One with what I am to be a man, but also one with others, right? Understand that other people are different, right? Other people have different preferences. They want to do things differently. And just because they're different, it doesn't mean they're imposing their mindset onto you. Yeah. Yeah. Just find the, the, the self-respect and then the respect for others and you're golden. Yeah, I do think uh, it, it's a shame that that we're going to continue to see like the negativity and there's some like very popular archaic men out there like Dan Bilzerian. Yeah, he's on Instagram and he's and he's like flying around in helicopters or on yachts with girls in bikinis and big guns and he's just kind of driving home this like almost like a, like a meathead mindset. Yeah, I think he he is like the prototypical quote unquote like hyper masculine man. Like he's got. A lot of muscles. He's got a big beard. He's uh, got all these scantily clad women around him. He's very materialistic, like you said, with yeah. the, the airplanes and the parties. He's essentially like a dude's version of Paris Hilton. And while a lot of the attributes, like the the his his body type and his beard preference and his interest in guns and things like that are totally cool, it's when he starts bringing in the image of women as objects. Yeah, that starts to shift him away from being a modern man, and um, I think that's not someone that you want to aspire to be. Yeah, don't like, don't let that kind of stuff be the measuring stick for you. Right, right. There's definitely a lot of really noble incredible men out there who are trying to change the way society views people through a positive way. And I encourage you guys to, to kind of look for those people and, and find those inspirations on a personal level uh, rather than like just this, this mass level. Well, I hope you guys are on your way to becoming modern men. If we pissed you off, be sure to leave those comments in there. And if you totally agree with us, be sure to defend us from all those comments out there because we need a little bit of help. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Cheers. Beard on. And beard on.